guys, my name's Emily, my twin sister Amanda is behind the camera, and welcome to our channel. So like I said, my sister is behind the camera, but do not worry, you will see both of us today. We are actually currently on our way out to go drop some stone crab traps. We're gonna bait them, drop them, and then in a week or so, we're gonna be pulling them and getting some stone crab claws for ourselves. We went to Winn-Dixie to get ourselves some pig's feet, but unfortunately they were sold out. So we got some chicken thighs. They were 89 cents a pound. So that's what we're gonna be using today. <laughs> they froze together in a giant block. Uh, I didn't take it out of the freezer early enough. These buoys need to have R's on them. The R stands for recreational. This R is in Sharpie and it's probably gonna fade, so we just gotta stay on top of it, make sure we it's visible at all times. And then the other side of our buoy says hashtag Gale Force Twins. That's just for fun. We did that for ourselves. You don't need to have anything on the other side of the buoy. Um, most of the buoys out here are actually white, so finding them can be like hectic, but it's not really because we mark them so we know where they are. Uh, in the future, if you want to make it easier for yourself, get some colored buoys, you can paint them. Um, but don't forget, on your actual trap itself, you need your name and your address. So what we did is we had a label maker, and we crazy glued the label maker, and then we used clear silicone. You can use epoxy or silicone, whatever, and covered it. Three, Three two, two, one. Hi guys, so Emily and I switched roles. I'm Amanda, Emily's behind the camera. It's been seven days since we uh, deployed our traps, so now we're gonna pull them and hopefully get some claws. Let's check our trap, it looks empty. Oh yeah, it's empty. Wanna see our chicken, our chicken bones? Okay, and the trap is baited. It's got its chicken thighs in it again. I'm gonna close it and toss it back out. You ready? Three, two, one. Bye. Next trap. Okay, first crab in the boat. This right claw is definitely a keeper. They need to be two and three quarters inches to keep them from the elbow. Are you okay? He almost pinched my finger, and guys, for those of you that have been pinched, you know how painful that is, so I got my fingers. Do this again. Okay, I got his claw. Had to let him go real quick. He was a feisty one. Um, I'll show you how we do the next one, but they have to be two and three quarters inches from the elbow joint to the tip of the bottom claw. There's your beautiful stone crab claw. Okay, second crab from the same trap. His claws are just shy of a keeper, so we're gonna let him go. Okay, we got one crab. This next crab's a little small. We're gonna once again throw him back, let him live another day, and we'll get to catch him and eat him later. Three, two, one, deploy! Two crabs. They're babies. Come look at them. Baby number one. Baby number two. Deploy. Two of them are big. Two of them look like keepers. Okay. The big guy is on the deck. He actually released his claw on his own. They do that when they're afraid. Dude, don't put it in there! <laughs> what are you doing? I forgot. This claw is also a huge keeper. In the state of Florida, you can keep both claws on the crabs and they can regenerate them. Beautiful claw. Here's the next beautiful crab. He's got one teeny, teeny claw. 
and one awesome keeper claw. Okay, I'm gonna break it and just by pushing down and he releases it. Check out this crab. Look at his tiny pinchers. I'm gonna let him go. Look how he's super cool. He's kind of got some pointy, these things are pointy. They're totally poking me. But we're gonna go let him continue to eat whatever he eats out there. A lobster! He's clearly undersized, but even if he were of legal size, it's illegal to harvest them from a stone crab trap. Spiny lobster don't actually have claws, but they do like to swim away from you like that, and they swim backwards. Look at his little beady eyes. He's got these sharp, pointy eyebrows, I like to call them, to protect himself. I'm gonna let him go and crawl another day. Maybe during mini season, we'll come get him. You ready, guys? He's gonna swim away backwards. Hey guys, we got four really nice claws. We wish you guys could come with us and eat these delicious claws. But thank you for watching us on our journey. We hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, a comment, and subscribe for more twin videos.